Hi, and welcome back to Toy Thomas Presents a Google Drive How-To. This is Google Drive How-To 9 of 10. This is Lesson 5.0. And let's see how we add files. We're getting close to the end, so this is kind of exciting and sad at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to, again, be working from Chrome. You can work in whatever browser you're most comfortable with. And we're just going to dive right into it. We're going to be going to our Add icon, our Add New icon. And from here, we have several options. We can add files that are documents, sheets, slides, forms, and, and more. If you're working from a smart device, these options will not be available. You can, of course, open forms and other items on your um, smart device, but that's a lesson for another day. Today, we are going to start with adding a file. We're going to start with a, a Google Doc. And when you come to the little arrow, you see that there's two options, a blank document or a template. We are going to start with our blank document. So go ahead and click to select. <clears throat> now, depending upon how your browser is set up, it might open up in a new tab or it might open in the same window that you're already in. Either way, uh, it, it's fine. You're going to come to the top and click where it says Untitled Document. And that is where you will type in a name to give your um, new file um, a name. And then once you're in, the file is ready for you to manipulate in whatever way you want. But how exactly you manipulate Google Docs is a lesson for another day. So if you are ready to um, exit out of your document, if you are in a new tab, you can come to the X at the top to close out that tab. If you open up in the same window, you can simply go to the back button to get back to the uh, main landing page. So now, Let's create a doc from a template. Same thing, we're going to go back to Add New, scroll, scroll down to our Google Docs. Our arrow brings us another option. We're going to go from a template. And for simplicity purposes, we're just going to go with the letter template. Um, your options may appear slightly different on your browser, again, based upon you know whatever history you have there. So I'm going to click on the letter. Again, it might pop up in a new tab for you or it might pop up in the same window that you're already in. And then just as we did before, we are going to be clicking in the top um, part where, you, where it says letter and we're going to be giving it a new name. Somehow I clicked on my caps lock <laughs> um, so that you can um, title your letter. And of course, you can manipulate this document in a number of ways but that's the lesson for another day. You can use your back arrow to get where you started from. Right here, it'll actually take me back to the other templates if I were to click that here. And of course, if I wanna get back to um, where I started from, I would need to exit out or back arrow again to get to my drive. So there I have created two new documents, two new files that happen to be documents. But remember, your new files could be documents, sheets, slides, forms, etc. You can repeat the steps that we've already done and try out some of these other ones as well. The, um, they all have the same options. Um, you can do blank documents or templates to help you create these new documents. Now, the last thing that we want to do is see how we can upload a file. Again, we're going to start at the Add New option. And last time we uploaded a folder. This time we're going to do a file upload. And when your window pops up, I went ahead and went back to the Google Drive um, folder that I cre created in my Patreon thing. Um, as you know, I'm giving a transcript of this whole thing to my Patreon supporters. So that is the file that I'm going to be uploading at this point. I would like to point out that it is best to upload files that are likely to be compatible with Google Drive and also um, it's likely it's also a good idea if you don't want anything to happen to the original content to maybe upload a file that can't be edited say like a PDF or something but for right now we're just going to go with a Word doc which should translate very well into Google Docs so the little um, status bar will show up in the um, lower uh, right corner letting you know that your file is uploading once your file is completely uploaded, you can, of course, double click to open it and um, manipulate it unless you did upload a file like a PDF or something that can't be manipulated, but you can still open and view it. So my upload is complete. I 
back and now double click it to open it. And it translated very well. <laughs> so this is the pretty much the transcript that I'll be giving to my Patreon supporters. And that is all I have for today on opening and uploading files. We'll get to manipulating these files in the next one. And that I think will be the end of our series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're getting something out of it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and, you know, consider sharing it. Um, and I'll post the other video soon. I do apologize that the comments are turned off. That's a special feature for my patrons, but you can leave me a message on my about page or you can visit me on my website or you can always consider becoming a member of my patron community at the creator or tribe level. <laughs> I know this is, I sound like a broken record, but this is, you know, I'm getting excited. We're almost to the end. Yes, and I feel like I'm rambling. So this is Toy saying stay safe and be blessed.